Joe, well, I am so glad to be here with Max Cleland, who probably was the first one in the United States Senate to get swift voted. The first one to have a nasty campaign run by Tea Party types. First one to take sure that they went after him because not on the issues they couldn't win, but they thought they could tear him down and they've been doing that around the country. And as Elizabeth will join me in saying, it's not about our families, it's not about their families, it's about your families and making sure that you have the things that you need for a strong America. That's what this race is about. So Max Cleland fought for his country in Vietnam. He came back and he served the good folks in Georgia, and then he went on to the United States Senate and served the good folks in Georgia and this country. He was strong in Quezon, he was strong in Georgia, he was strong in the United States Senate. He understands that this race is about who's going to stand up for the middle class, what side are you going to be on once you get elected, and he knows where Elizabeth Warren is going to stand with us, with our families. that when he was Secretary of State in Georgia, he fought against the manipulation of the stock market, and he won. So he can spot a good champion of consumer affairs in Elizabeth Warren and knows that she'll make that fight and continue the fight she's already started. I've known Elizabeth Warren for many years now, and I can tell you every time we had a bill in Congress, long before the public knew her name, Members of Congress knew her expertise, knew that she was the one who understood it, knew that they knew that families needed somebody like her putting protections between them and credit card companies and banks on Wall Street, and it was no surprise to us that when the President needed somebody to go in and do just that, the cop on the beat was Elizabeth Warren because she understands the needs that we have to make those new lives and respectable to fight for us. This race is not about having things trickle down and us waiting around for that to happen. This race is about building up the core of this country, making sure we invest in the American people, making sure we invest in the American communities. There's only one candidate in the Senate race that's going to do that, and that's Elizabeth Warren. So, I'm happy to state honor of introducing a great American hero, a person who stood up and fought in Vietnam, person who stood up for us in the United States Senate, and a senator that he knows is going to be standing up for not just the people of Massachusetts, but the people of this country when she gets to the United States Senate. Let me introduce to you today Senator Max Cleland and the next senator, Elizabeth Warren.
one on our own survival will certainly on the survival of those around us. And from time to time we forget that our families suffer and serve as well. send someone to war that's one person. It's all the people in that family, all the brothers and sisters and young people and aunts and uncles, they go with that uh, spouse as well. Elizabeth understands that. We want to uh, preserve some segment of consumer protection in this country when the Bush administration had virtually destroyed it all. She pushed for the Consumer Finance Protection Agency, but she didn't forget her raisin, as they say in that part of the world. She didn't forget that sometimes veterans and service members, and certainly young people that come back from war, are often the victims of financial fraud. And they are the can be targeted by unscrupulous practitioners of uh, financial fraud. So she fought to make sure that David Petraeus' wife, Holly Petraeus, came with her and worked for service members in terms of the Consumer Financial Protection Agency. Thank <laughs> you. 